Okay guys, this is a quick one. It's very late here, but I decided to do it before I go to sleep since I tried the Abattoir of Zir, Abattoir of Z, Abattoir of Zir. I suspect by tomorrow morning a lot of you will be very frustrated struggling with level 1. And even if a rift will be the rift, sorry, it, it's it's basically a rift. Even if uh, it the dungeon itself it will not be a problem for you, I bet if you have a sub tier build or not a tanky enough build for Bloodseekers in the end will just one shot you. There is a very easy strategy to get your Avatar of Zir done at level 1 and get your Glyph XP and you can maximize your normal XP or you can start slowly uh, leveling blood, tier of Bloods Glyph. And this is very reminiscent with Char from Diablo 3 and Conduit Fishing. So I'll try to showcase it to you, hopefully we get one, and then I'll explain how you do it. All you need is a tank enough build with enough damage to go through the rift itself, through the dungeon or whatever it is, through the abattoir. Don't worry about the bosses in the end, the bloodseekers, because those will be obliterated by conduit. So let's do one now. As you can see, this is my second char. He just got 100. My first abattoir I, I did with 98 or 99, I don't even remember no problem at all and uh, i have only three glyphs and they are level 15 that's it i have a tears here but i did it without it as well because this is only damage it doesn't help you not dying from the uh, guardian so don't worry you can do it easily without it as well and i'll do it with blood surge uh, with uh, bone storm uh, which we know is not by far not the best necro build and I'll show you how easy it is done and you can do it with any build for your character as long as you don't die in the normal rift like you can carry you on through abattoir uh, yeah I'll open one now level one we go and we pray we get one there is a it's not very straightforward, but I'll give you the tips so that you can manage it easily. It took me a while to figure it out, but it's fine. So we go, we'll put the bone storm on auto cast so we don't die. And we start spreading bone storms. Easily peasily. And we go. We go, we kill, and we check the violence. We will get at least one, at most, I don't know, maybe four. But one or two you get all the time, if you kill stuff in time. So you can see now we are basically immortal, our life. Like we have life, fortify and barrier on top. Uh, so it's very tanky, it lacks a little bit damage. Like it, it's good in uh, AoE damage. It lacks a little bit damage uh, against bosses and like single target. But we don't need it effectually. So we just cruise around spreading our uh, bone storms being immortal basically you can see that no problem our life doesn't even move we kill we kill we kill and we will search for those pylons which first should appear quite soon based on our progression we are almost halfway again as long as you have leadless you have infinite bone storm if you move uh, fast enough through the dungeon here we go, first one, and it's a protection, we will take it, we don't need it. Well, we need it, but it, it might help with a boss actually, you can use it, but now we are showcasing the best in slot strategy, which is a uh, conduit. We should get at least one more, so hopefully. Good progression, let's go forward. Try not to kill too much in one place, so that you uncovered a lot of space. Uh, like uncovered map while still doing progression in that way you maximize your chances for getting pylons it seems it's very similar to d3 the me mechanics of spawning here we have the second one and it's a channeling which is shitty this is not good news This one is in danger not to get a third one since we are quite fairly close to the end already. So 
example. It might be not a good example, but the, these are rarity, actually. Very often you'll get it, be it at the start of a rip, be it at the end of a rip. The end, of course, is the best, but let's hope we get one more. Very close to spawning the guardians. Now we, we stop killing stuff. Let's uh, navigate a little bit and hopefully. Here we go, we got the uh, blast. Okay, that's that's bad. This time we got very unlucky, we didn't get it, of course, but uh, I'll show you another one where we get it, how we do it. Oh, even Blast obliterated them. Here we go, even Blast works, guys. And I will got another Gleedless Wall. So Blast or Conduit easy peasy and i think armor might help you as well but you 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 want to kill them manually then blast or conduit the, the best part of conduit is that you are immune so then you are not killable with this one you, you still have to be careful not to be one shotted but you can see we can one shot them and this is what was the best case scenario when we got it in the end let's try to do another one where i'll show you what to do when you get it in the mid rift or the start of a rift because then it's very hard to hide them all the way back. Let's do another one. Hopefully I, I, I get it early now so to showcase you the worst scenario how you handle it. It's not rocket science, it's fine. But it took me like I lost 5 or 7 glyphs uh, before I realized. I was always relying on getting it at the end of the rift. Like much, much more reliant on RNG. Okay, let's hit the bone storms. We are cool. Now our bone storms, infinite bone storms have begun. Now we just chill and travel and hopefully we get it as a first pile and this will be like worst case scenario. Because the difference between Avatar of Zir and Jars in Diablo 3 is that Avatar of Zir is always only one level, so you don't have levels. Wherever you get Condi or other pylons, you can use it uh, at the end of the rift. We go with her first one, and it's artillery. Artillery actually is also very good, but we'll take it now. Artillery obliterates bosses quite well as well. We'll take it for progression, and hopefully, we got the second one and it will be a Condi. not to kill too fast so that we can get the second one in time we go second and it's going that's perfect so now what we do now we leave this mobs here we got another one lethal and we go away far away we leave enough just to finish the rift go away and then we start killing here for example and we will go and now we keep an eye on the progression we don't want to finish it till the end we will leave just as in uh, diablo 3 if you remember we leave like two three percent there for finishing then we'll get back to the pile and, and finish it there and i almost died by the way looking into the camera which is fine now we got our shield back uh, we have to be careful though not to kill too much because we are like in, in density you can get quite a good progression what's happening what's killing us is this uh, affix fire what the hell? that's not cool 
two of them, whatever. Go. But we are getting close still, we'll get like half of this more. We'll get a feeling like how much progression we get from mobs. Okay, op, 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 op. okay now we, st we stop. Uh, you don't want so far, you want a little bit less. But now we go back all the way there towards the Kondi. And hopefully we don't spawn them. This is a little bit extreme, like usually leave a little bit more uh, reserve. Now we just go, hopefully we get them up to see our own storm. Yeah, but we are already good, so... Because Kondi is right here, so you can take it straight away, but usually I like to spawn them. Here we are, and you take it before they spawn. Like here, you look, they spawn, you take it. Easy peasy. Clack, clack, clack. And you are immune, this is the best. Like You can do it with Blast as I showed you, but with this one you are immune. Very important thing, you want to spawn them as close as possible to the conduit. Because they can easily one-shot you, and also one of them or, uh, will jump on you. So sometimes it, he will jump off the screen, one-shot. So it's very hard, like even if you spawn them here, you don't want to kite them all the way. Because you still have to aggro them. Once you aggro, they can easily one shot a lot of mechanics. They can jump on you, or also sometimes they get these affixes that will spawn on top of you or near you, will kill you instantly. So you want to spawn them as close, close as possible to Kondi. Of course, ideal scenario is when you get your Kondi towards the end, so you don't have to do this backtracking. But if you get it even in the start of a mid, you do what I showed you. You leave a big pool of mobs as big as possible there, so you had enough progression. You go forward, kill mobs just enough to leave like a piece in the end. Don't leave as little as I left. This is uh, this was like quite extreme. A little bit more because you have more than enough mobs there. You come, you complete the rift, and you kill them. Also, if sometimes you will kill them a little bit uh, like further, like say you are here and the Kondi is here. Uh, you can still run, just keep the distance, look at the, on the minimap, keep the distance from the skulls indicator. And what you can do, you can run forward, still take it and then run back to them. So you will have enough condi time just to get halfway back to them and kill them. You, you can see that you, you basically snap them straight away. So here it is, uh, quick and dirty, uh, just because go, going to sleep. I. I'm quite sure I will save a lot of frustration for a lot of you. And uh, yeah, please uh, appreciate the video with a like or subscribe if you didn't subscribe. Uh, I'm doing it at 2 a.m. So, so it would be nice if I can get some clicks in support. Uh, it, it, it costs you nothing, basically. Alrighty, enjoy Avatar of Zir. Get your glyphs up. You get like 1,000 per each, which is huge for, for normal glyphs. And uh, also you get your your blood one which even at level one gives you about 60 percent damage multiplier 63 and that's multiplier it shows edit additive but it's multiplier trust me uh, it's a known issue Alrighty, see you soon guys enjoy the abattoir thank you